Hello, my name is Joanna Winkler. I will show you now how dependency graphs or call graphs can be automatically generated for SAP ABA programs and displayed in a Faro program. You see here an example of such a diagram. It is automatically generated. It could have also comments. Um, it is manually arranged and the positions can be stored. There is a GitHub open um, source program where an ABAP program is stored, set Muse Extractor ABAP. This is to be copied into a local program of uh, the SAP system where the extraction is to be done. The coding is uh, copied into the clipboard. A program is created a name for the program. This is a very simple way to transfer the uh, coding and it is very low risk. I change the name of the program so that it fits to the robot name. All the text elements and selection text are copied. There's the second document where these are stored. And the text elements or text symbols. The program is executed. Normally you can leave everything unchanged. I enter a package name. This is a package with, that has a test application for the extractor itself. And store it. I add the date and time. This helps later on in ordering the, uh, the files. And the extension .mse. This is already the poke, the, the file. This is now the file. This is the MSE format. No coding itself is extracted, only meta information of coding and names of coding and methods. I use Faro Launcher to start a MUSE. It is a very uh, easy way to get various installations of Faro and Muse and to organize them on the computer. You find it on India. I downloaded it already, the Windows installer, execute it, and it's given a folder where to install it. and click on faro.exe to open Faro Launcher. I specify now the folder where the images shall be, sh shall be stored. And save the settings. Now Muse Suite 60 Beta is the most actual release and required for the diagram. So I create an image, change the name as required, and download it from the internet. Smalltalk programs uh, live in an image and very soon you have a lot of this program, so it's very helpful to organize them and the Faro Launcher is a very efficient way to do this. And here I can start the image. This is now a Faro environment. 
by already Moses installed, I make a left mouse click on the desktop to get the world menu. And here you see in the middle the dot the point Muse with the Muse panel. Here I can load an MSE file, the MSE file I already created. And then the elements of the extracted models are displayed. Here the names of the classes and the methods and here you can slide back and forth. There's a context menu and you can show for instance diverse standard programs like here System Attraction Diagram. I've shown you the second application. It's a Smalltalk program and it's hosted on smalltalkhut.com. It can be used to generate such diagrams where the, the attributes and the methods are displayed with a name and that can be adjusted to your need and where you can add comments and so on. You have also documentation here on this page. This, uh, because this application has no graphical user interface up to now, you have to add um, statements directly at three points in the file environment. At the playground, when you inspect an element, and when uh, the view itself is inspected. So this code snippet here on the upper right is to be copied and then I go to the file image again, left mouse click and go to Monticello browser, repository and HTTP, copy this code here and load the la latest version of the program. When a class or when a group of classes is now with a white mouse click opened, you have now the RV dependency graph as an option. Code is entered in the playground and uh, the possibilities are shown here. Muse elements can be inspected and other codes can be added and at the right top of a view. I will show all three. First I make a left mouse click to the desktop and open the application playground and enter a coding to specify the name of the layout of the diagram. It's called demo. And right mouse click do it or control D to execute the statement. Then I display the diagram. And you already see layout is now demo. The elements can be dragged and arranged as you need them. If you click on element, an expector opened. This is the second point where small chalk code can be entered. Here it's a method M1. Here I add a comment. BR is the only tag that is understood, understood it's a line break. The third place is the word tab of the view. Also here certain codings can be entered. I add a statement to save the positions of the elements. Remember add to view. And the second statement to tell the system where to save the positions to a file. Again, do it. Now you see, bottom left, the system tells you that it's saved. And there's now an XML file, demo.xml, where this information is now stored. And here you see also the comment. And 
display the diagram again. The comet is misplaced and has a coloring not everyone likes. I remember the rearrangement of the comment. Position is now better. I go again to the playground and tell them to the system to color the comment in transparent color. Elements can be highlighted. This can be done by clicking on the element in the inspector of, uh, in the, of the view, but you can also click on the element in the Mose panel. The statement is highlighted including me. Do it and it's immediately done. This is very helpful if you do it from the Mose panel in a very big diagram for instance. The next one is to filter elements and I can repeat this for more than one element. So I can, by filtering, build uh, big diagrams that gives me only the part of an application that are interesting for me. Did this already? And you see only a part of the elements is now shown. The one directly connected to the method M1. There's a statement called list. I go to the playground and this helps me to understand what changes I made to a diagram. I execute it. Again I go to the world menu and I find under I think it's tools transcript. information where changing were done. Here is the method M1 of the class MTC1. The changes can be redone. First is the highlighting. For this I go into the play count. Remove temporary, remove the highlighting. Control D and it's immediately gone. The next is the change of the appearance. I click onto the same method and add a statement in the inspector. You can do this on the view but also in the Mose panel. Remove appearance changes. When I draw now the diagram again. it looks like before. That are the main features. I wish you much fun when you use it the first time and contact me if you have problems or need help. Goodbye!